We wanted 100% manufactured air, USA manufactured aircraft uh, that meets the SLSA regulations that could be used for flight training in a two-seat recreational type environment from a tail dragger to a tri-gear. One of the most popular kit-built aircraft in the world now comes fully assembled right out of the box. Uh, there's a lot of folks that decided they didn't want to build an experimental aircraft they, or, or they're scared to build but they love the kit fox. You can buy a tri-gear version if you want and even change your mind later on. Now in the SLSA we do require it comes back to the factory for that conversion uh, but it is all built into the frame so it's not new welding and all that. If you like that wide open feeling. Now the doors do come off they can be opened in flight or removed for flight. They are very quick to take off if a person wants to take them off. Speaking of takeoff the kit fox SLSA gets off the ground in under 400 feet and climbs at over 900 feet per minute. Performance is really uh, dynamic. It's very quick on the roll, very sporty, um, and yet it's very stable in turbulence. Uh, uh, stall is uh, 42 miles an hour, um, 38 knots approximately. The uh, cruise speeds, depending on how your configuration, whether you have wheel pants or, or whatever, but we uh, have 123 to 124 true. Uh, with the big tires like the airplane behind me, uh, we're usually in the neighborhood of about 110 true, somewhere in that area, 108. One reason for the good performance, the SLSA version has a restricted gross weight compared to the kit-built airplane. The SLSA that we produce is actually a 1550 maximum gross weight capability aircraft in the experimental category, um, and it's registered as a 1320 max gross weight for the SLSA. The fact that we have a much higher gross weight capability uh, puts it into a safety category that is much higher than what a lot of them are at. Um, you know, it's built stronger, period. Uh, baggage area is uh, uh, 13 cubic feet, I believe it is, and capable of carrying all the way up to 150 pounds, depending on your CG. You can get a factory-built aircraft for well less than $100,000. Base model is 88.5. That includes a comm radio, an AOA system, um, uh, base paint, in tail dragger or tri gear configuration, and 100 horsepower. That said, nobody has ordered a base model yet. Everybody's uh, bought them with the 10 inch Dynons or the 10 inch AFS advanced flight systems, and the, you know, the comm radios is the standard the Garmin system. Those are all running anywhere from 99 to 120 approximately. And why the big tires on McBean's airplane? fly in the Idaho backcountry. It's a stole airplane um, and that's our, that's our playground if you will. Uh, the, the Tundra tires offer, uh, as I was explained once, insurance. When you land on unapproved strips or out in the bush somewhere, you, there may be something in that grass that you didn't see and the, and the large Tundra tires actually roll over the top of them very easily. It's an easy airplane to fly and you can take it a lot of places. These airplanes came down from Idaho to Florida for Sebring and from here we're going over to the Bahamas for a week. Uh, so we'll be playing in the Bahamas and my wife is coming down to join us for that. Um, what we really like to do is the Idaho backcountry, Montana, Washington, Oregon, that, the, the whole Pacific Northwest, uh, Canyonlands in Utah. Um, we will load up and go camping and, and, and camp in one spot or go to a bed and breakfast. There's many of them in the, in the Idaho backcountry. Stay at a ranch back there and fly out of there and go to different strips throughout the, the uh, Idaho Frank Church Wilderness and, and it's wonderful. Al Marsh, AOPA Live.